Now, we start here in France, where Prime Minister Jean Castex earlier delivered a tribute to the French nationals killed in Niger. He was speaking at Paris's Orly Airport in a private ceremony after the bodies of those humanitarian workers were transported back to the country. The French Prime Minister saying all NGOs and humanitarian workers need to be able to continue working locally and they should not be pushed out. Castex was joined by several other senior French ministers. Now, for more, I'd like to go back to Erin Ogunque, who's at uh, Oli Airport for us. Erin, thank you again for joining us. A pledge there to protect humanitarian workers in the region. That's right, exactly. Uh, Prime Minister Jean Castex didn't go into very much detail about this 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 pledge, uh, just reiterating really that humanitarian workers, as you mentioned, really need to be able to do their job, that they do essential work, that they are totally independent uh, from, from the government, neutral actors, uh, and that they need to be able to continue doing that safely all over the world. Uh, so Prime Minister Jean Castex said that what he uh, and the government have vowed to do is to work towards strengthening humanitarian laws, uh, international humanitarian laws. And then in addition to that, working towards concretely protecting French humanitarian workers all over the world uh, so that they can do their job safely. Erin, tell us more about those French humanitarian workers whose bodies were brought back into the country earlier this Friday. Uh, well, the, the prime minister spent much of his uh, much of the time of the speech dedicated to talking about these uh, six French humanitarian workers, uh, saying that these are people who were dedicated, who were selfless, who were courageous, who had done what he described as prestigious studies uh, specialized in humanitarian work. Uh, that they knew the region very well. Uh, he made a point of emphasizing again that these were humanitarian workers and not military. They're not there to represent the government. They're unarmed. Uh, they were not accompanied by armed. Guards. Guards, uh, really, again, emphasizing what he described as, as their selflessness uh, and of, I guess you could say, the, the goodwill nature of, of humanitarian work, really saying that these uh, six French individuals really embodied that. A tribute to those workers, Erin Ogunkai, with that update from Orly Airport.